All right, what we're going to do here um, is we're going to go over um, arithmetic sequences today, okay? I just What I wanted to show you is just um, some general things that you'll see in the IB, um, just inter introduce you to, um, you know, a, a typical problem and show you where we get the formula from because a lot of kids, you know, use the formula. They're not necessarily sure where it comes from. Um, so if you're looking at this arithmetic sequence, what you'll notice is that, you know, 5 to 11 to 17 to 23, well, it, it's, you know, it's adding by 6 each time between each term, okay? Now, if you're to look at this, the first term would be 5, the second term 11, third term 17, fourth term 23, uh, 23 so on, so on, okay? Now, um, all these arithmetic sequence will have a, the same difference, so it could be either, you know, positive or negative, but in this case it's positive, so D, or the common difference in this case, is 6. Now, another important term here is the first term. The first term they give us here, they don't always do, but in this case they do. The first term, and you write it U sub 1, um, is 5. Now what I want to show you is how they come up with the general rule that that's, you'll see in your formula booklet. Um, basically this is the way it works. Okay, So if we're going to look at the first term, Okay, the first term, well, that's 5. Okay, no problem there. Uh, the second term, now the second term is 11, but I'm going to write it a little differently. I'm going to write it as the first term plus the difference of 6, right? Just 1, 6. So I'm just going to do 1 times 6. And you'll see where I'm going on this in a second. Um, the third term is 5 plus, now you're skip counting from 5 to, to 17, you're going twice, two sixes. So it's going to be 2 times 6. Okay, and then the fourth term is going to be 5 plus, yeah, you guessed it, 3 times 6. Hopefully you're seeing the pattern right now. And then the fifth term will be 5 plus 4 times 6. Okay, um, so if we're going to write the general rule um, for this formula, uh, the general rule would be, or the nth term as they call it, is u sub n equals, now all of these have um, a 5 in them, they all have the first term, so we'll put the first term plus, now this is what I want you to look at here, look at what we got right here, we have 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, now compare that in this case to right here, okay, so the second term we have 1, the third term we have 2, the fourth term we have 3, the fifth term we have 4. So the way we can represent that algebraically is just saying, well, n, and then you just take away 1, and then it's going to be times, all of them have the difference right here, so that's going to be times the difference. There you go, that's your formula that you'll see in the formula booklet. Okay, now that we have that, we can move on to a problem. So again, let's move on to the same same sequence here. So consider the sequence 5, 11, 17, 23. A, find the nth term of the sequence. So, okay, you want to find the general rule there. Um, B, what do, we, what do they want us to do for B? To calculate the 200th term of the sequence. Okay. And then the third question asks, is 623 a term in the sequence? Okay, well, let, let's do the first one first. Okay, so remember, we have... Um, we have our formula here, so let, I'm just going to put it up here. The nth term equals the first term plus n minus 1 times d. Okay, well, let's just use this information, okay? So we're, we want to find the nth term in the sequence, so we, we don't know what that is. Okay, we, do we know what the first term is? Yeah, it's 5, okay? Um, we don't know what n minus 1 is. Do we know what d is? Uh, yeah, we do. It's 6, right? Okay, so let's just uh, put a 6 right there. Okay, now, uh, in order to simplify this, we're going to have to do a little bit of distribution here. Um, just we're going to have to multiply 6 times n and 6 times negative 1. Um, so if we do that, we get, um, you know, the nth term equals 5 plus 6n minus 6. Well, let's simplify that. So we get 6n, and then 5 minus 6 is 1. So our nth term here is 6n minus 1. Okay, that's going to help us a lot. So if we once we're done with that, now let, let's test it here. The first term is 5. So sub in 1, 
for n. 6 times 1 uh, is 6, minus 1 is 5, 2. 6 times 2 is 12, minus 1 is 11. 6 times 3 is 18, minus 1. Okay, we got it right. It's good. Okay, so now they want us to find the 200th term. So all we do for that is we just, it makes it a lot easier once we have the general term. So we can just do the 200th term equals 6 times 7, 200 for n minus 1. Okay, and okay, that's going to be nice and easy. Well, 6 times 200 is 1200 minus 1. So our 200th term is 1199. Now that's a lot easier than skip counting out to 1199. And I've seen kids try and do it, and they rarely do it correctly. So you, you probably don't want to do that. Um, okay, so then let's move on to the last part where it says, is 623 a term in the sequence? Okay, well, let's, what they're doing here is they're already giving us the answer. They're just asking us whether it's one of the terms. Well, all we have to do in this case is sub in 623 on the left side of the equation. Okay, and then what is it? 6n minus 1. Now, if we solve this and it's a whole number answer, integer answer, um, that means it's going to be one of the terms. So let's plus 1. You have to do a little bit of algebra here. Uh, 624 equals 6n. Okay, we can divide by 6. Okay, so n is going to equal, let's see, 624. Let's see, 6 goes into 6, 1, 0, um, 24 divided. Okay, so it's going to be 104. Okay, I would advise you to use, you know, your graphing calculator. Um, I just did that one in my head. It was pretty easy, but otherwise I would use a calculator on that one. So that kind of shows you how, um, you know, a fairly typical easy problem would work. Um, in part two, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over some a uh, little more difficult problems where you have um, some systems and you have to solve for K and things like that. But overall, I think this gives you a general idea of how things work with systems. Uh, hope you enjoyed it and hope it helps. Take it easy.